look back. Off both. <laughs> I got wild. <laughs> Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Chris. I'm joined by our lead instructor, Brent, and we're going to break down for you the Scandinavian flick. It's one of the most common rally techniques that we have, and it's something that there's a lot of inputs and a lot of stuff going on in the car. Brent, what would you say about these conditions that we have out here today? So yeah, it's a uh, wonderful snow. It's actually falling right now. So we got some fresh snow, but there is a good layer of ice underneath this. So that's why it's gonna make it very difficult, but having the side to side weight transfer from a pendulum turn is gonna make it very useful. The thing about the Scandinavian flick, it's about the right speed for the corner. Is that correct? Absolutely. So we're gonna just make sure we're gonna try it and maybe we'll blow through these cones a few times and, and give it a shot. Yeah, either way, learning is going to occur, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, let's get in the car. So we're going to be using some throttle on just because of how slick it is. We don't want to get any sort of uh, wheel lockup when we do go to the brakes. Um, when we do go to the brakes, that's going to put weight on the front and allow the vehicle to start rotating. Once we start rotating, we're going to be one of looking through the exit of the corner, get our steering pointed where we want to go, and then we're actually going to be releasing both of our feet together to get the car to rotate back the other direction for the, for the exit. So is there like a, a quick sequence, like what is the sequence to do a Scandinavian flick? So the sequence is going to be turn, add brake, look, turn back, release your feet. Once that happens for the exit of it, then you only have to worry about making sure the wheel's back to center again, and then back on gas to straighten the car back out. So turn, brake, mm -hmm look back correct what was turn that? back so turn your back. your wheels yeah. will always follow okay. your eyes okay and then back to gas release both your feet oh release both because that's going to be the transition moment you have to stop that first initial slide from just spinning us all the way out okay. so releasing of the feet is what's going to swap the car back the other direction once you get that slide unwind and then back on a little gas to put the weight in the rear okay. and then that will stabilize the second slide I'm glad you're going to show this to me slow. Yeah. So let's maybe do that. Yeah, there's uh, there seems to be a lot of steps in like the 25 meters that we have to do this. Okay. Uh, but the more time you get, the more you realize like we can separate everything out. Okay. So coming in the straightaway here, we're going to be in second gear. Um, this technique is for the right speed for the corner, or roughly about the right speed for the corner. Okay. So you might end up having to do some straight line braking if you feel like you're going too fast. Got it. But then once we're ready to actually start the rotation, I want to keep some throttle on because that's going to help keep a little stability. It's also going to act as a poor man's ABS to prevent the wheels to lock up when we do go to the brake. Okay. So I'm kind of looking behind the apex already, and then I'm going to start turning to the right with throttle on, and then I'm going to add some brakes. So I'm going to turn about three o'clock, okay. then add brakes, so keep those inputs separated. Okay. So I'm really turning, both my feet are in. I have a little gas and a little brake, and I'm gonna to try to get sideways before the second set of cones that we have here. Gotcha. Once I've got this much angle, I don't wanna just be looking out of my window because I'm gonna go that direction. Hmm. I wanna look out of my side window because that's where I eventually wanna end up. Once I look that way, my hands will follow back to the left. Once my steering is all the way back and I'm happy with where it would be lined up, I release the feet. Because once I've released both my feet, then the transition will swing me back. And for these conditions, you really want to try to release both your feet together. Because okay. if you end up releasing that brake before the gas, mm -hmm. you're going to end up uh, putting all the weight in the rear and the car is going to understeer. Got so it. you'll lose the side to side. If you end up releasing the gas before the brake, you're going to run into the risk of locking the brakes up. And that's also just going to cause the car to hold the rotation that you're currently in. Got it. Because um, a locked wheel will have no directional ability at that point. So that's why you want to try to get those feet out together, um, the slicker the conditions are. Okay. Hmm. Once you get into that situation, the car is going to snap back around. Now we want to move our eyes to that green cone. That's going to help keep us patient on the exit. Okay. And you're going to let the object in motion stay in motion for this. And then now that you're kind of lined up where you want to be, start getting that wheel back out. And then once that wheel's centered, then you can get back in the gas. Got it. And it's very important to keep your eyes on the inside because if you look at all of our outside objects, um, you're going to end up getting on the gas with steering still in and it's front wheel drive. So it's going to make the car understeer on you. Got it. Look for that green car on the inside. Yeah. Okay. And that's our pendulum. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> all right. So again, second gear, my throttle is set. 
I'm doing just a little touch of brake to make sure my speed is good. And then we'll turn, add brake, turn back, release feet, let it unwind, back on power to go straight up the inside of the exit. What'd you think? Yeah, that was smooth. <laughs> much, I was expecting a violent transition, but it was really very smooth. And you just have to wait. Yeah. It's kind of like there's a long time where you're sliding in the middle there, and I feel like I'm gonna be too fast. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where like the more seat time you get, uh, the more you realize, okay, I got a lot of time to actually get all these steps done and separate it out. Right. Um, because things are so icy, that's why you don't really feel the violent transition because okay. things have to be so smooth. Sure. Um, the grippier things get when you do this technique, then the more you'll actually kind of feel that side to side uh, snap. Let's do one more. All right. So again, I'm accelerating gently, second gear, I'll do just a little straight line braking again, make sure my speed's good. And then turn, add brake, turn back, release feet. Let it rotate, little bit of gas here to go straight. And then I wanna keep looking all the way through my exit. Any questions? No, I think I'm ready to give it a shot here. Awesome. Turn. Yep. Brake and gas on. Yep. Look, turn back release both pedals correct is that right correct and then once you figure that out that's again where we'll keep our eyes looking for that green cone on the exit and then before we gas again to pull ourself to pull up to pull the car out of the corner get that wheel back out first okay all right let's give it a shot that part's actually easy to figure out once you can get the first part in so you won't get a good left if you don't get a good right so we're using that equal and opposite reaction for this right okay. so don't try to rush the right just let the car slide got it I've got a second. Then do a little touch of brake here just so you feel where that pedal bites on you. Yep, that's good. Now keep a steady gas. And then turn, add brake, look over, off both. Unwind quick, gas on. Yeah, that was really good for your first one. Okay. And then here you can even practice your eyes again. Okay. So yeah. we should always keep practicing our eyes no matter what speed we're going. Definitely, it was dropping my eyes and not as quick to look back as I think I could have. And touch a little brake here. There you go, that's all you'll need. Keep the gas on, then turn, add brake, look, off both. Unwind quick, gas on, and then center. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Did I counter too much? The unwind came in late. Okay. So what I said for the turn back on our last round, the sooner you turn back, the less steering you need. Okay. Well, the sooner you can unwind back to center, the less counter you'll need. Okay. So you'll, again, you're being more proactive in that case. Okay. Where in that run, we, you notice you needed a bit more counter yeah. just because we were late to start our unwind initially. Turn, add brake, look back, off both. <laughs> I got wild. <laughs> well, so starting at the beginning of that one, um, we did go in a little bit faster, right? So I was more quiet in the straightaway. Yeah. So I didn't say like, cool, let's hit a little straight line break. So we went in a bit faster. And I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> yeah. And then I got scared and yeah. I whipped in. Yeah, I, 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 I got scared I, a little now too. I was like, oh no, he's looking at Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> All right, so we'll slow down a bit on the entry. Right speed for the corner. Correct. All right, so if I need a little bit of straight line braking, make sure that I'm going the right speed for the corner, then start to implement all the techniques that we've been talking about. And another benefit of just touching that little bit of brake is you feel where that pedal bites on you before we need it actually in the corner. Okay. So you get more familiar with how, it, how it's gonna work. Turn, add brake, look over, off both feet, wait, be patient. Now gas, there you go. Good. S little slow back to gas. Yeah. Uh, slow back to the unwind. Okay. So it's a little slow back to. If you unwind sooner back to center, that just means the next step can happen sooner. So back in the throttle earlier. Okay. All right. Yeah, just that little brake touch. And turn, add brake, look ahead, off both. Get the wheel out. Gas on, go. Center quick. Yeah, nice. That was good. So thank you, Brent, for showing me all those techniques. The, you know, the Scandinavian flick is just one of those tools in the toolbox. One of those corners I went in just way too fast. And 
sometimes you just have to be do it going the right speed. Is that correct? Yeah, um, right speed for the corner. Um, it's one of our five braking techniques that we teach at Team O'Neill. Um, a little bit of the, the issue too of going wide on that one corner was our eyes. Our eyes weren't quite far enough ahead. We're doing a lot of side to side weight transfer for this. So it's often important to look out of your side window for this technique. Always look where you want to go. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to learning all those other techniques you just talked about. Yeah. Thanks guys.